Hello there, and welcome to Hammerman for today, September the 25th. Um, yeah, September 25th. Wow. I f it, like, literally feels like five minutes ago I was being like, Welcome back to school, all you suckers going to school. Stage one, pretty straightforward. Uh, with the switched up, I, I went with the, the ham ham again, and uh, shown off. Flawless. Uh, very nice, very exciting to see. Stage 2, however, obviously has the tanks and the heavies all in one. And even though the, the few Zookas that landed with it got disintegrated fairly quickly, I, I presume, there were still enough heavies left over and tanks to make things really nasty. Now what's nice is they kind of like hit the peak where the rest of the landing, because it's on the opposite side of the beach, they, like, it's all just warriors and heavies and stuff that ran straight into flamethrower and machine gun heaven, and they just got fried, like, not, not just a little bit, but, like, they got ruined. So I guess, in theory, if you wanted to p put a few more sniper towers, a few cannons, and a few boom cannons down on this south side of the beach to take out the heavies and, the, and all that, uh, you could probably pull off a stage 2 flawless. As you can see, they only got three of my buildings down, which isn't saying a whole lot. And then we move on to stage 4, which actually reminds me frighteningly of the previous stage with the second wave, with the first wave of this stage because as you can see it's just it's all kinds of squishies that come rolling out of the uh, the landing crafts at first and it works out really nice because with this layout the the f rocket launchers have enough range and they're set up well enough that they can actually start hammering the beach right away and as you can see it did a quite the number on them on the grens and allowed us to actually pull off a second flawless on stage three which is very exciting because Normally stage three by that time it's kind of like nah you're you're toast we're moving on. Uh, luckily, it worked out this time, and then we can move on to stage four. Now I'm not I'm not even gonna like pretend to be like oh yeah 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 for sure uh, stage four I I ruled no like almost 600 riflemen on stage four is tough no matter who you know you are it's 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 you're it's gonna be like unless you're rocking something insane like you know five ice statues or something like uh, or or i guess in theory if you were rocking like the double hot pocket with damage amps and whatnot like it would be possible to do some silly things but uh pretty pretty tough uh, because of just sheer numbers, as you can see, that like, I turned out it turned out really well. Like I, I was able to really defend fairly easily on that level because it is just riflemen. I, like I didn't even use the the mines down at the south end of the beach. They barely got through my wall layer of the defense. But all things in you know said and done, it's uh, it's 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 one of the nastier levels. One hot pocket, though, just, like, instant win. Throwing that out there. Now, stage number five, I guess, sorry, I might have called that stage number five. That was stage number four, which for stage number four, that's that's why I'm thinking, like, 600 freaking riflemen. That's pretty intense. Just throwing that out there. Anyway, stage five, not too bad. As you can see, everybody comes up and hugs the machine gun and just chills in that blind spot, which, man, it's it's rough. It's nasty. I'm, I'm not a huge fan, but um, the, the surrounding mortars and rocket launchers and, and everything are able to clear up the mess. And then, as you can see, it kind of fans out and spreads across the front. Fortunately, I've got enough mortars. Like, those mortars are doing work. Uh, if your mortars aren't up to par, it might be tough. Because I feel like this week, 
mortar was totally the MVP defense. Like my my mortars uh, did, I guess rocket launchers did pretty good too. The 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 mortars and the rocket launchers, the long range AOE damage just seemed to like be the stars. They absolutely destroyed and did like amazing amazing things. So. I, I, uh, I don't know, I don't, it's hard to say, but I, I'd say the Mortar's MVP, just because the Rocket Launchers are, like, OP all the time, but the Mortar's really did do some serious damage. There were a couple of defenses, because obviously, mixed in with these, I've got a few failures that I've kind of edited out, just because, you know, you don't care about the failures, it's, well... You might. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm not going to judge you, but the point is, like, I'm trying to show you, like, okay, use this strategy, use these kind of layouts, this will lead to a win, so, uh, yada, here you go. Now, on stage six, because I still don't have any prototypes, I've also, by the way, for the record, uh, I haven't had prototypes defending my base for the last couple of weeks either, and it's starting to do horrible, horrible things to my VP level. Uh, just because I'm like, well, I, I didn't need prototypes for Hammerman, I guess I'll just let it chill. And unfortunately, you know, it's nice for the prototype parts. I'm definitely building up some prototype parts, but for the for the VP, I am like struggling just to hold steady, which. Uh, you know, isn't saying much because it's not like I'm in the like 2200 VP bracket where stuff is for serious. Let's be honest, if I was in that bracket, I'd have enough ice that I'd have to have enough ice that I, I you know, I wouldn't have to worry about Hammerman, that's for darn sure. But I digress. So uh, what I did is I ran all of the riflemen around the outside with the remaining uh, grenadiers. And then I just made sure that my rocket launchers were positioned in a way that would allow them full access to the whole crescent. And I just fried those fools as they worked through all of my, like, junk buildings. I just, those rocket launchers were constantly pummeling them. It worked fantastically. And then we move on to stage seven. Now, like I said, because I've been kind of, uh, I've been kind of sore and I've been looking for some defensive love, uh, stage seven this week, I threw out the hot pocket just because I wanted to be able to use the hot pocket for the week. But honestly, when it comes right down to it, I'm pretty sure that with a little bit of effort, Stage 7 could be done this week, again, without the need of any prototype parts or ice. Uh, I just... I kind of wanted to have a nice chill week, especially because with the, the way that the, the tri-boosts and everything are going, I'm going to be loaded. I'm going to be a whale, so I want to have a, a little something so I can get some intel out of my lost resources. Anyways, uh, as you can see by dropping the, the hot pocket down on the south end of the beach, it turned the whole thing into just a massive Zuka crunch and worked out fantastically. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully this has been helpful. Hopefully it's been entertaining and above all else, hopefully you guys have a fantastic day.